today is ultrasound day. Ooh. Going to ultrasound some rabbits and see if any of them got pregnant. How many days out since our breeding are we? 21 days? 20 days? Well, it was on a Saturday, wasn't it? Well, no, we there they were bred on the 4th, the 6th, the 7th and the 8th. Right. And today is the, the 20th. 20th. So they're 15 to 17 days. Sure. Okay, so we're going to ultrasound them and see if any of them's pregnant. We thought maybe you might want to go with us. They may not want to, but do you think they will to? I don't know. Hidwell farmers are pretty smart people, so they probably want to go with us. Does it take smarts to go with us? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to palpate her and see if I think just with my hands that she's pregnant. And then we'll take the ultrasound and we'll see what's going on in there. And if you think her leg looks weird, it's because it is weird, but we got her that way. I don't know if she broke it as a baby and it just healed back crooked or what, but it doesn't seem to hurt her and it's been like that forever, so. Okay, I do think I feel babies in her. <gasps> Julio, are you gonna have babies? So we're gonna do just a short little hair clip, but not to the skin. She seems to be comfortable. Can you do it like this? Probably not. Well, then tell me where to put her and she I'll do it. She needs to go more on her back or she needs to go completely can over I her feet. Can I sit and her be in my lap? She can. She sure can. <clears throat> that better? It is. All right, so we got some, uh, some gel, some electric gel there. Help to get the connection to the ultrasound. What we're going to do is we're going to take our DRE. We're going to turn our gain down just a little bit. And then the depth, I'm going to set it down just a little bit. All right. That way I'm, my focus point is a little different. And then we'll see. Right there is a baby rabbit. Baby rabbit! Okay, this right here is the baby rabbit. Right there's its head and its four feet coming out. All right, at least you're pregnant. Let's spray your little head so I know we did So this is Da Vinci. She was bred two days earlier to uh, darkness. darkness. My old friend. Hi Da Vinci. Oh, listen to you stressed out. It's okay, baby. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. I'm not gonna eat you. That's a baby. That's a baby rabbit. Put this thing in. Okay, she's done. She's done. You think this is calligraphy? Who is she bred to? Uh, Prince Arctic, I think. So her babies could be tiny. I don't feel a pregnancy. She may be open. Not worth trying to ultrasound if you can't even feel them. Up to you. I don't care to help center, but I don't think she's pregnant. Well, if you can't feel them, it'd be really hard to find them. So I'll just mark that we felt her and okay. didn't find any. Now we've got grits and red-eyed gravy. I think there's babies in it. <gasps> babies! Okay, hold her and I'll do it. Look, you're right there, Mama. Is that a baby? 
baby. It's a baby. Yay! I don't yeah. have any babies out of this girl. <gasps> Yay! Yep, that's a baby. This will be your first babies. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm going to go back here just a little bit. And this vesicle right here, now this is just a, a, a space where I don't have good connection, but this right here is the vesicle, and this little line right here with these feet coming out, that's the rabbit. That's the baby rabbit inside of her. And if it was 3D, you could be able to make some features out. But uh, those two little white dots, I don't know if you make that, those are feet. And now we've kind of come up to where we have a head and some eyes and stuff. You can't see its eyes. Can you see its eyes? Okay, this one's called Crash. Hold on, Crash. Okay. Oh my goodness. You're just not going to be nice, are ya? You used to be so little. You used to be so tiny. You're not tiny anymore. My pretty little lilac. The only lilac here. Popo, be soft. <gasps> no, Crash. No, you can't escape. You cannot escape. No, you can't. She's got babies. <gasps> Crash's first babies! Sweet. I doubt that he does, but he might. I don't know his full pity. But there's another one. Another one as in five? Yeah. <gasps> wow, Crash, these are your first babies too. I'm so excited to get some Crash babies. So now we've got Chris, kiss, kiss, kiss my great grits. Kiss my grits. Her mom was Alice, and she's the mom Let's to grits and red-eyed gravy that you just saw a few minutes ago that has the really chocolate face. And she was bred to a broken blue, so we could get some... I think you're going to be well pleased. Tricolor. Oh. <laughs> she feels like she's got a lot of babies in her. Well, I think the... Oh my goodness, I think... I think the other one was one of like seven, maybe even eight. I don't remember. Hold on, darling. There's nothing. Is it pregnancy hormones making you all stressed out? Your feet are wet. Where have you been? Running around here. You've been running <laughs> around in the water. You're okay. You're a good girl. Here. <laughs> I, mean, I gotta find my orientation, orientation spots. <laughs> I know what it is. I don't know how to find it. It's pretty pink. Okay, right there's right there's a baby. Baby, baby. So she's going to have several. <laughs> I just, I'm not going to be able to get you a good count on her. Let's see, you said four on the other side and then at least one on this yeah, side? I kind of went too cranial now. So five plus? Yeah, something like that. What a good girl. All done. Okay, so this would be our last one today. So this would be rabbit ultrasounding part one, and this is Petunia. Sweet, sweet. We would do petunia. more of them, but we have an appointment this afternoon that we have to keep. It's okay, baby. And okay. we have a few more farm chores that we got to do. You need a good brushing, Mr. Two. Little. They're a dwarf breed. Yeah, I've seen angoras. They're big. Angoras are not Jersey Woolies. Although, they're tiny. She's like an angora crossed with another little dwarf. Gotta change some more. Gotta get back out there. Oh, she is stretched. That's as big as she is. <laughs>
He's just little. He should have brought the bag and weighed them all. Of course, it wouldn't really be fair because it'd be pregnancy weight. Did you get midline this time? She's kind of twisted around too. Yeah, I don't know. Three. From the two precious friendly ones we got, is that a one or is that a two? I think that's two. See, oh. there's one. Then there's one. That's a, ba that's a baby rabbit. Can you see it? It's head and bouncing two. around swimming. Going on down here. Right there's a third one. You see it? Oh, I hope none of them right are there. dwarfs. Yay, I hope none of them are, well, I hope none of them are peanuts. There's another say. one right there. That's on the other side. See it? So is that six? Four. No, four? Boy, I lost count. Three on one side plus one is four. Oh, goodness, are you angry? Are you angry? I think she had four last time. I'm going to say four this time. I don't really know how many veterinarians or farmers in the United States are ultrasounding for pregnant rabbits. <laughs> Probably not many. <laughs> I, I would like to think that that distinction is a little bit unique to me. I'm sure there are others and I'm sure that in exotic animal hospitals, uh, veterinarians ultrasound rabbits all the time. But uh, it's not my best or strongest skill by any stretch of the imagination, but I have gotten better at it. The first couple of years we ultrasounded rabbits, I'd look at that stuff and was like, I don't even know what I'm looking at, you know? So uh, I've practiced and, and, and I always try to find the bladder. Once I find the bladder, then I kind of work off of it up each side the best that I can to follow it. Um, since I have spayed several rabbits and actually have been inside to look at the anatomy, I'm much more familiar with how everything fits together. So it's easier for me in my three-dimensional brain picture to, to follow those anatomical features up through the rabbit. Uh, and so I've gotten better. My, I would say my percentages have gotten better over the years, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, compared, we, you she always, like whether they were pregnant or, whether they were pregnant or not, and then how many, um, yeah. I've gotten a lot better at to being uh, accurate on that. She always reminds, she writes down what I think and then what actual happens, and then we compare notes, and so that's always good. But anyway, that is, I done forgot. Seven? Seven of 16. So we have nine more that we need to ultrasound. Um, so we'll have part two of rabbit ultrasounding here uh, in a few days. We uh, have an appointment this afternoon, so we've got to finish our farm chores and get out of here for the day. But I hope you enjoyed watching some baby rabbit ultrasounds. All right, anything you want to say? I've talked. You need to talk. No, I'm excited to get some chocolates. All right. Love my chocolates. Yeah. Deal. All right, high five. Okay. Oh, do you want to go look at the baby bunnies before we go? Go look at the baby bunnies. Yes, we do. Oh, those are huge. Balls of fluff. They are little balls of fluff. Last Holy time I reached in here, one of them bit me. Come here, kitties. Come here. Come here. Come But it could be like mom, except it could be a tri a blue tricolor, like a blue fawn tricolor. I don't see any blue on it though. I think it's a broken chocolate. I don't see any blue on you? But they'd like to change colors. That's so precious. Hi, and you've got a little mate. Two bouncy of goodie sister brothers. Come on, little otters. Come here, we get a broken otter. The otter be in there. Ah, there we go. And the way that you can tell an otter is that, the, oh, careful. My goodness, the insides of their ears and their 
little noses and around their eyes are tan instead of black. Because otherwise it would just be a black and white rabbit, but he's got that tan and that's the otter color. Yes, oh my goodness, I love having some otter back in the business. Okay, you can be back with your turn, everybody. I love you guys. Oh, I don't know, we're going to have a single mane like Mama would be so cute.